Hey guys, uh, we're gonna give you a bonus video today. I am in the process of magnetizing uh, the doors on a few of these buildings. I've got three so far, plus a window, um, for a building that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, this isn't going to cut into my uh, time or anything. Uh, you guys will get all the same twice a week videos. This is just a bonus. Um, what we need is a good sharp knife. Uh, you need magnets. Uh, normally I use uh, rare earth magnets, but I ran out, so I got some cheap, uh, thin magnetic sheet. This is adhesive, but I'm going to be super gluing it. So You need thin steel. Uh, any, I mean, if you had like iron or something like that, but anything ferromagnetic. You don't need a lot. It does not need a lot of strength. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut little squares. So, as you can see on this door, we're, we want to cut off the corners, but we don't want to cut all the way like through it this way. What we want to do is we really only want to cut a little square as thick as our magnet. In my case, so we're going to be careful and we're just going to wedge. The good thing about this is with MDF, uh, it's It splits pretty well. Make a score line. And then make another score line. Oh. And let's see, I just cut a little tiny bit out. And then we're going to cut through our magnet. And I'm going to use the stickiness just to show you guys, but I'll take it off and super glue it. bottle is almost empty. Here we go. And what I'll do is I will uh, you can see maybe maybe you can see maybe um, it sticks over a little bit I'm, I'll wait till it dries, and then I'll just trim that off. And we're going to do the other one. Does not have to be big. Actually, this looks a little off-center. The door looks a little off-center, so I'm actually going to cut this other one a little thinner. A, a little smaller this way. And then I'll trim it off. Now, after you've glued your magnets to your doors, uh, your next step would be to uh, glue your metal to your walls, and so what you do is, and I won't show the part where I'm actually gluing it onto the building, because my buildings aren't over at my workbench right now, 
but cut a little piece. Uh, get yourself some tin snips. And you make squares. And then you super glue those to the walls. And so that is, and be very careful with this metal because it's very sharp. You just need two pieces per door is more than enough. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I like uh, I like the look of the closed doors, while at the same time I also kind of like the look of the open doors. So I'll just do both. And your pieces of metal can be a little bigger than your magnets because they matter less. Um, they're not going to be hanging off in space. Uh, that makes six. I need two more. And I got this piece of metal. I got it at Home Depot. A uh, little 12 inch by 24 inch piece. It's like 20 gauge or 22 gauge, something like that. And it was uh, $10, less than $10. And it's, I mean, it's all of this, <laughs> this tiny, tiny piece uh, will cover all of the magnetizing for this uh, whole box, probably. Uh, there's not that many pieces. I'm going to stop, and then I will just show you guys what the end result looks like. And now that I've finished the doors, just to show you guys the next step. I've trimmed the edges of the magnet. So I'm going to take two of these little pieces of metal. First, I'm going to dry fit this so that you can see... Out what it's going to look like. Now you can see, just barely see the magnet, that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, uh, I'm actually not going to attach the metal like I normally would because this is a really wide door frame. So I'm just going to put the metal, it's close to the corner without overlapping. Oh, that's way too much. Just... God, that's way too much glue. And my finger stuck to it. Because of course it is. Uh, and I stuck to it. Stuck to it bad. Okay. In theory, there. Okay, so you can see little bits of metal. Now. Theory, just barely touch, and it's just just so that it'll hold a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. I'm gonna. I took it back off because uh, those pieces of metal are crap in the super glue. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, this is just a short. Uh, there probably won't even be a voiceover. I uh, just wanted to show you guys the the step that you don't that I wasn't showing you. Um, so that's it. Uh, I'm Tyler and.
this is my tabletop. I will see you guys soon.